الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد. Today I'm going to narrate to you about one of the notorious, the filthy, the most destructive devil. This devil has sculptured and has put a lot of people under captive. They cannot shift his idea, his thoughts, his actions of the individual are all based upon the demonic and devolic way. This devil doesn't know how to stop. This devil, he has put under captive even a very old people, old women or old men. Few weeks back, someone gave us a call, a very old woman. She's under the influence of that devil. Today, I've encountered an old man, a very old man. He's under the influence of that devil. Who is that devil? Is none other than the destroyer, the Ashik Jinn, the filthy Ashik Jinn. This Ashik Jinn comes to a lot of people. Some he claims to them that is Jibreel. Some he claims to them they are the chosen one, Mahdi or whatever, or they will join Mahdi. This is the work of this devil. Ashik. Some he makes them believe that he will leave. Some he puts them in the mental hospital. Some they don't know how to fight no more. This is the work of this devil. We ask Allah to protect the believing men and women. This devil I have discussed previously, but I'm not going to stop. This is from the series of Shaytan al discussion, how to move forward. Because a lot of shaykh are struggling and a lot of ruqas are struggling how to deal with it. And majority of the people are struggling. A lot of people this devil has put under captive. I know a lot of people who went mental hospital because of this devil. He make them throw the cloth and be naked. And this is the possession of this devil. He just wants to see you naked. That's what it is. This devil is a notorious. Like I said again, I am going to be talking series after series about this devil. Because a lot of shoes are struggling about this devil. And a lot of rukas and a lot of people are under captive with this devil. I'm going to put a treatment after treatment. But the most important thing is one needs to rectify his ways. One needs to look deep down. What am I doing? Am I good to my neighbor? Am I proper Muslim? Because this devil, the way to defeat, you have to cut all the haram channels and all the shubuhat, all the shahawat, desire stuff which leads to haram. Because this devil creates a situation and he puts the individual to be grieving or become sad and then he attacks and then he makes them watch dirty stuff, pornography or whatever or going and masturbating. This is the work of the devil. If the individual has children, he will use the children. If the individual has no children, workers, he will use the workers, the bosses, whoever to just make the individual not happy and to go low and low and boom, he attacks. This is the work of this devil. Like I said, I am not going to stop. I'm going to explain treatment after treatment and symptoms after symptoms of this enemy. This enemy, he's a staunch enemy of son of Adam. Allah Rabbul Izza says in the Quran, Inna shaytanu lakum adu fattakhidu aduwa. Shaytan is your enemy, take him as an enemy. This shaytan is an enemy, staunch, black and white, the ashiq jinn. He can come through so many sources. He can come through magic. He can come through evil eye. He can come through hasad. He can come through me himself oppressing. He can come revenge. And he will attack and attack. And they don't come alone. They come as a pack. And they will confuse, totally confuse the individual. The individual will be thinking, he's thinking for himself, but no. 
the devil is the one who is thinking for him. His actions, everything will be demonic. A lot of ruqas and a lot of shuk says, when that devil ashaks there, attack the source of that devil. While in fact, this devil himself does magic. This devil himself is an envious devil. This devil himself gives evil eye. So if he's there through magic, no. I say one thing. You attack this devil. You don't attack the magic. You attack this devil by calling and calling and calling upon Allah. This devil fears dua. Any other devil fears dua. So you attack him by making laws of dua. By you making laws of dua, you gain the upper hand. Now this devil will know that you have a creator. You have somebody who you rely upon. And there will be fear upon that devil. This devil can come and pretend to be a Muslim. This devil can come and pretend that he or she is loving you. But in fact, is he or she is looking to totally destroy you. You'll find 90% of this uh, shaitan al uh, old man or old woman. Very rare you find a very young shaitan al in the body or outside the body. You will find majority of the time this devil comes at a very, very young age, nine, eight, seven, and he possesses the person and he stays there for years. And it will take so long for the individual to realize that they have a demon inside their body causing problems. And because he's there long, he will know every move of yours. Imagine being there 20 years. He knows every game of yours and you don't know him. You don't know that he exists. So your thoughts are demonic thoughts. Your actions are demonic action. You will start becoming suspicious and doubtful from your members of the family, thinking your members of the family are your enemy or the members of your family are doing something. But in fact, is this devil want to put you as a captive on your own. Just like the wolves, they attack the lone sheep. This is the work of this devil. This is the tactic of the devil. He does not have no strength. His strength is three. To whisper, use his whisper and create confusion and then push the individual to the sins. These are the three weapons, the sin and creating confusion and his whisper. Now, if you learn his thoughts and you learn his ways by listening to videos after videos of different, different shuk, my videos or reading books, learn the way of the devil because this is your enemy. The enemy lives right next to you. You will know his actions, his ways of thinking. You will know it. And you will ask Allah to protect you from it. It's far superior to know your enemy the way that your enemy thinks and the actions of your enemy than not knowing. Because once you don't know, you are already being defeated because you don't know the plans of your enemy. The enemy, shaitan, the jinni, needs to be fought very, very hard. And how to fight him is by you to become a zuhd, to cut off all the desires and connect yourself to Allah Rabbul Izzah and staunchly and hard and firm believing upon Allah and asking Allah to help you, you to overcome this. Because Allah Rabbul Izzah says in the Quran, Whoever strives through our way will guide him. This jinni is not a joke. This jinni, you have to strive very, very hard to f defeat this jinni. Not only this jinni al-ashat, but any other jinni out there when they are sent to do a task by the devil or when they are not sent to do any task, they just come themselves. A lot of people question and ask, yes, sheikh, post a video or how to treat oneself. But in fact, it's not the treatment. It's the way you think and the way the shaitan makes you think and the way he made you captive. You have to come out from that. 
fast, call upon Allah frequently, and then you do the treatment. And listen to your thoughts. The thoughts is the weapon and the confusion and the create and the sins he put you in. So you have to be aware of all this. And slowly by slowly, you will become victorious. Not only this jinn, is any another jinn. The strength of any jinn who came through any source of these five sources I've mentioned is the sins. The sins you are doing, they become stronger. If you stray away from the sins, they become weaker day by day. How to move forward and what are the signs of this Ashokzin? Having strong desire of sex, heart masturbating, getting whispers of sexual whispers, no matter what age. It doesn't matter the age if this devil is dead. Numbness on the body, numbness on the hand, pins and needle, headache non-stop, pain in the mouth, blood comes out from the mouth for absolutely no reason, having gum disease for absolutely no reason, movement in the heart, pain in the heart, feeling lightheaded, pain in the lower back, anxiety, depression, a lot of sexual dreams, even you are mahram. It could be a man dreaming about his mom or sisters or his aunt, whatever. It could be a woman dreaming of his father, his brothers, his uncles. The list goes on. Also, movement in the private part. When the individual wakes up from the sleep, heaviness, the sleep is not enough, always. The individual will always be lazy. Al-khumul. This is the work of this mal'oon shaytanul ashaq. He needs to be fought. No relaxing. You need to fight him. You cannot fight him alone by saying, oh, I'm going to do self ruqi And that's it. La, 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 la. You have to fight him by having a sheikh to monitor your situation. Now, how to treat this problem? Dua ila Allah. Isti'ana ila Allah. Five times salah. Adhkar, morning, evening. And read. Qul ya al-kafirun in abandon. Qulawdhu barb al-falaq in abandon. Qulawdhu bila bin nas in abandon. Ayatul kursi in abandon. And get qistu al-hind. I'll leave a link where to get qistu al-hind. Luban. I'll leave a link where to get the best. Harman. Hiltid. What you do, you get a pot like this and get kuhul or something like that and then read on it. Read at al kursi, qulad bib al falaq, qulad bib al nas, bismillah, drop it inside. So the smoke which comes out from there, smoke your body, put it in between your leg and close here so the smoke doesn't go out and smoke yourself severely. Don't smoke a little bit. Severely, loads, bismillah. So one day you do hiltit, one day you do luban like this, bismillah. One day you do qist, you smoke yourself properly, smoke like this, properly inside, proper smoke, you do it. Smoke, proper smoke, I repeat. And you'll see the difference. But in, let me tell you something. You have to stay away from haram. Haram needs to be wiped. Boom. This pot, I'll leave a link where to get exactly this pot. This is a stone which has been crafted. Inshallah, leave a link, eBay link, where to get this. So this smoke, it needs to be inside you for at least 10 minutes. Smoke yourself. Because this devil stays in the private part. Loves it there. If he's not staying there, he can stay in the heart, he can stay in the head. But make sure your whole body is difficult for him. And stay tuned.
and like the channel and more to come how to treat this enemy and i'll leave a link there in the end of this this video if you need any counseling there's an email there i repeat the smoke needs to go inside you like that blast it not little bit do not be stingy because this devil he gives you what's worse to be stingy or oh, money when Allah says, Inna shaytan al-faqra wa ya'amurukum bil faqsha. Shaytan will tell you, you'll become poor. You'll become poor. Don't spend. But you're spending, in fact, to remove him. So spend on this stuff to remove him from your body. Wa akhru da'wana. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.